Ronald Reagan. On Monday, March 30th, 1981, 69 days after Ronald Reagan became president, the 22-year-old John Hinckley Jr. attacked a group of men outside a hotel. This group of men included an officer, a Secret Service member, and Press Secretary James Brady. It also included President Ronald Reagan. One shot was fired and one hit the press secretary in the chest. He was protecting the president. Another shot hit the officer. Another shot went off into the parking lot and another shot was fired up in the air. Another shot was hit the limousine and then hit Ronald Reagan, lodging itself in his side. The man who shot Ronald Reagan did it for an actress. He later said it was the greatest love act of all time. Malcolm X. The Nation of Islam has repeatedly denied any involvement in Malcolm X's assassination. Hagen, then known by the name Talmai Jax Hayer, was in his early 20s and a radical member of the Nation of Islam the day he entered the ballroom armed and ready to kill. Thomas Hagen's reasons behind the assassination of Malcolm X are assumed to be because of his threat to the Nation of Islam. Malcolm X was shot multiple times. He was assassinated on February 21, 1965 in Washington Heights, New York City. He was 39 when he died. His real name? Malcolm Little. He had six kids. Malcolm X was at one point a member of the Nation of Islam. He was once recorded saying he regretted his time with the Nation of Islam and that is probably why he was assassinated by a member of the Nation of Islam. Malcolm X was shot 21 times. John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy, the 35th President of the United States, was assassinated on Friday, November 22, 1963 at 12.30 p.m. in Dallas, Texas while riding in a presidential motorcade in the Dealey Plaza. Kennedy was riding with his wife, Jacqueline, and Texas Governor John Connolly and Connolly's wife, Nellie, when he was fatally shot. Governor Connolly was seriously wounded in the attack, and the motorcade rushed to Parkland Memorial Hospital, where President Kennedy was pronounced dead about 30 minutes after the shooting. Connolly recovered from his injuries. Lee Harvey Oswald was shooting from the sixth story of a building. There's been much debate on whether there were two bullets involved in the shooting, one hitting John F. Kennedy and one hitting the governor, but this has never been confirmed. Or whether the bullet somehow curved and there was only one shot fired. It was later determined that somehow the bullet managed to enter John F. Kennedy's back and exited his neck, then striking the governor. Former U.S. Marine and Marxist Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested by members of the Dallas Police Department about 70 minutes after the initial shooting. Oswald was charged under Texas state law with the murder of John F. Kennedy as well as that of a Dallas policeman. The Dallas policeman was fatally shot a short time after the assassination at 11.21 a.m. Sunday, November 24, 1963 as live television cameras covered the transfer. Lee Harvey Oswald was later assassinated while being transferred to prison. He was then rushed to the Parkland Memorial Hospital where he later died.